Korean pop music, it's addictive, it's fun, and you can't take your eyes off of it. There's something about it that just draws you to the sound. There's a lot of reasons why people watch K-pop. The catchy music, the great singers, the stunning visuals. But one thing that truly separates K-pop and any other music out there is their use of choreography. A good or viral choreography can make or break a group. Dancing is one of the most important attributes of an idol. So today, we're going to be ranking the top 15 girl group dancers in K-pop. Now, I've enlisted the help of some of my friends, all of which are high-level dancers, to help me with the judging process. Technique, basically the fundamentals of dance, their posing, their facials, their skill in executing. Musicality, how well the dancers interpret the beats, the rhythm, how well they feel the music and show it in their dance. Fluidity, how well their dances flow from one move to another. Do they flow like water or do they move like an awkward statue? Energy, how much energy is she bringing to the dance or does it look like she needs a couple monsters? So now that we got all the rules all the way, let's rock. She's the main dancer. Yes, queen! Immediately right off the bat, can definitely tell that her visuals are like super, super on point. Everything seems like so smooth to her. Her face is like just really effortless the whole time. I love that when you can definitely tell like somebody's very technically trained, very comfortable with what they can do. Another thing I'm noticing about her dancing is it's all very like sweet and uh, smooth and minimal, but I can tell that she's just like a beast at dancing. From what I know about her, I think she was specifically a hip hop dancer, a pop and lock dancer before she even debuted. So that I'm sure adds a lot to her technical abilities when it comes to dance. But there seems to be like a kind of echoed statement throughout like comments and such that she seems to be a little overshadowed by other idol dancers. She's fierce, look at that face. Look at those visuals, girl, you're so cute. Yeah, there's that hip hop influence, I love it. <laughs> It looks like she's not even breaking a sweat, for sure. It's just so easy for her. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. big fan of Itzy and she is an amazing dancer. I think she did really well with her fluidity and also the lines that she makes with her body. Um, whenever she needed to make a pose with her legs, they were bent where they need to be, her body was angled where it needed to be, so she just hit everything spot on. Um, she grabbed my attention because of the little head detail that she does. Um, a normal movement would be like this, but then she goes, ha ha. So then even if she's in the back, I'm like, okay, I see that. You can, yeah, you can watch her. Meticulous movement, so. She does have a lot of strong movement, but sometimes it's not as strong as it should be. Mm -hmm. like, stronger than her Stronger own. than the other people that were there, but. She did have a good, she had good music. presence. Presence, there you yeah. go. She was very good. I mean, but not like amazing, but okay. she was still good. I thought she was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> So I don't know Sulgi that well personally, but um, she seems like she has a lot of passion and you can tell that in the dance, she really emulates the, the song type and the music. I have watched some of Red Velvet's things before and it seems like she can do very cutesy dances very well, but this shows that there are more, there's more to her skill set than just that. She can do um, kind of more serious dances. She seems like she has a lot of passion and you can see that in the expression in her face when she's dancing and I think she's just specialized in a lot of different types of dance, which is really cool. Minzy. Minzy is such a cute performer. Oh, she's so cute. 
you. I feel like it's kind of, no, she was a good dancer. She was a good dancer. She was a good dancer. It was very simple movement. It was very It was easy. very simple movement, and I think it was because she was in hills. There's that too. Um, she was a little bit choppy in mm. some of them, and she would miss, like she would be half a second off. Uh, yeah. Yeah, in certain parts, and that kind of bothered me a little bit. But her, but her energy and performance made up for it. Her face is matched the movement. Yes. Yes. And so like, it, and it wasn't over the top because some of her facials are kind of what a lot of people can do over the top. Mm -hmm. But she made it so that it was like not over the top, but top notch uh -huh. for the movement. I don't know. I thought she was adorable. So you kind she of overlook cute. some of their dancing yes. <laughs> because she was, she was just a really good performer. Like she was really cute to watch. And so mm -hmm. I didn't notice as much on her dancing skills as I probably would have for someone who didn't perform very well. There are a couple of things about her that I have actually haven't ever seen on a dancer. Um, she has a certain look about her that's very unique, which makes her more pleasing to the eye, which in turn makes it so she controls the way you view her a little bit more. Her dancing is just top notch. She doesn't come off of as any kind of normal, average K-pop girl. She's one of those that I would not put in a group. I would put her as a single person. She, her rhythm is perfect. She is very fluid in her movement. She's strong. She has very, very strong movement. Um, her energy is just crazy. She's just amazing to watch. Her, so her body is longer, but it is more proportioned, which makes dancing a little bit easier. But she, she can control her body really well and do very, very hard things where one half of her body is doing and something else is doing something. I don't know how to explain that better. <laughs> it, she just, her movement is so controlled. She just needs to not do part well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so excited to talk about Huna. She's seriously like the queen of performance. I couldn't like picture a list of um, idol dancers without Huna on it. I think she's just she's like a veteran. She's been doing this for so long. Like I absolutely adore Huna's charisma and stage presence. No matter what dance video you watch of hers online every time she delivers she's delivering with her all and I think that's so important even her minimal movements like are just so swaggy and powerful she could just stand there and like I don't even under I don't understand her power watching her perform is like watching the watching a pro it, everything about her is so spot on her visuals her charm her charisma her movement her technical skills if I was in this business, I'd be like, who do I want to dance like? Who do I want to be like? I want to be like Huna. It's just like I said before, her, the movements can be simple and she delivers it with like Huna power. I want Huna power. Yoyun Yo. is the bomb. I'm so lame for saying that, but she's my favorite. She's my favorite. Um, she is who made me um, want to do K-pop. And then I like stopped doing K-pop when SNSD wasn't doing as much, you know? Because her, like she has, she actually has technique for a K-pop dancer. Is that a bad thing to say? For no, a -pop dancer? no. She has technique and she can hit it hard. She's very, she's like accurate at the hits. It's not like, halfway there. It's like boom, boom, boom. Like it literally looks like there's a wall stopping her whenever she goes boom, boom, boom. Does that make sense? Yes, it totally just makes me? sense. She has the control of being yeah. fluid and then stopping. Yes, okay. Actually one of my favorite K-pop dancers, I honestly think she is the best that's out there. So when she dances, the thing that I love about her is she has a really long body. And long bodies don't tend to do well with hip hop. 
They tend to do better with ballet, sometimes jazz and in ballet, but with her, she is so aware of her body and so strong in every point that even in hip hop, she can look as amazing as someone who is shorter and a little bit more proportioned. The fun thing about her too is when she dances, she puts her personality into it, which is really rare. A lot of people are good at performing and making the song what it is, but she takes the song and makes it hers. Um, her body movement is just incredible. You watch her and she never has a point where she's not moving. So even in um, any kind of quick movement, she still makes it so that even after that quick movement, she's ready and starting to move into the next thing and so that it flows. Um, the other thing I love about her is she's really strong and has good isolations in a rib cage, which is really hard again with somebody who's so skinny is they, they tend to, again, have a long body that goes like this, but she's really good about keeping this and moving her rib cage as an isolation rather than throwing her body all over the place, which again, I think she's the best K-pop dancer out there. <laughs> I do, I, I literally think she's the K best K-pop dancer out there right now. But everything I've ever seen her do, even when she's choreographing, um, she did some things when she tried out, I think it's called 16. Yeah. But she tried out there and um, even with her own choreography, the thing that I loved about her was that everything was her personality, her facials, everything about her was just she took the dance and pretty much came out with no matter what the movement was, and it was Momo. And that's what I love about her. Um, Seonggyeon from CLC, she's the main dancer. She talks about how dancing is a way for her to relieve stress. And I think you can definitely see that in her dancing. Like everything is so natural to her. This is just like a part of who she is, you know? Like look at how smooth these movements are and how comfortable her face is. Her ability to like transform inside of her videos, like concept to concept is crazy. I was just watching a bunch of her monthly choreo videos and they're all so different from each other. The concepts are like anything. They could be like girly, creepy, and like she does them so well. So she's like a chameleon in dancing. You can just tell how much it means to her. This girl has got it. She is fabulous. She's just like sexy and cute and she's smiling and you can tell that she loves it when she's dancing. She's just like free. Like she just lets herself go to dance you know, however she wants to and let her body move. Cause sometimes K-pop idols can be a little more restrictive, especially girl groups, but like, she like puts all of her energy out there, which I think is amazing. She's very complete in her movements and the thing. Yes, very much. And it's not like it's choppy in any way. Yeah. Her movements are constantly fluid. But yeah, you don't even really notice the guy. She takes over so much. <laughs> Another thing I love are her facials, especially when she mouths the lyrics too. It's it adds to the performance a lot. Yeah. Like more than anything out of the four categories, I um, I see her performance the most. Yeah. She like I I love how fluid she is in her movement. Mm -hmm. Even when it's sharper, it doesn't like ever stop to the a point. The transitions are The good. transitions yeah. are always super, super smooth. She's got great style. Not everybody can do dance like that. No, watch not it. everyone. No, and you could have someone do the same choreography and you would never look that good. She's amazing. She's got the attitude. She does, and her energy is crazy. She did it with a man and it was really hard to pay attention to the guy. She just overtook the entire performance and turned it into kind of her own thing. The other thing about her was that she was very fluid in her movement. There was never a break off on hers. Even when she went to the difference of sharp to fluid, it all mixed together really well. She's an incredible performer. Like I said, you didn't even notice the guy because she performed so well and her energy is crazy. You just can see it pouring out even through her fingers. And her movement is all the way from the top of her head all the way out from core out and she did amazing. You don't get much better than her. There 
are K-pop dancers and there are dancers that there, there's like hip-hop dancers and there's K-pop dancers. Not that K-pop dancers are bad or hip-hop dancers are bad. They are just very separate. She is a hip-hop dancer and a K-pop dancer. Her, the way she can move and pop, her body is just unreal. It, it's not something you can see 99.9% .9 of people can do. It's, her, oh my goodness, her movement is fluid and it pops and it blends together. You know, Over, the choreography looks yes. good. <laughs> you, she takes awkward choreography that would look bad on so many people and she makes it look so good. She's just one of those people that it doesn't matter. You could tell her to do the most awkward thing and she would go out there and just kill it. She's one of the best dancers I've ever seen in my life and I have seen a lot and a lot of dancers. And I've coached a lot and a lot of dancers and you don't see people like that. You don't. Having, having taught, like I said, for a very long time, if somebody like that came into your studio, it's like one in a million that you would ever see. So surprisingly, we have a tie for the number one spot. Every single category, they received a perfect score from every single judge. Tens all across the board. I know, props oh, for the heels, props oh, for that. I know this bothers you, but she knows what to do with her hair. I feel Okay, I will, the hair I will give her <laughs> props for that because most people who do hair, it's like in their face mm -hmm. and it drives me nuts. But I think it's because of the way she holds her body too. Yeah, 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 yeah. And she, another thing, she thicky. <laughs> Dude. She thick. <laughs> Oh, I I don't, and she's got a lot of personality. When she dances, like, she doesn't have like a dead face. She no. really, like, she does a cute face, but somehow it comes off as like, teasing and still yes. sexy. You know she what comes saying? off as a tease. Exactly, and that's what you want to be. <laughs> Her body control just is amazing now. Like, I just, the things she can do in hills, I, you just, I don't know how she does that. I don't either. So the first thing that we notice immediately about her is that she's so sexy, like one word bombshell. And her dancing is like all about body confidence for sure. Like she's vibing and feeling herself and you can absolutely see that she loves everything she's doing. Her sex appeal is like off the charts, like embedded into her DNA. One thing about Hyolin that I really like is that she appeals to like Western audiences a lot with um, her dancing. She also works with a lot of like YouTube choreographers like Aaliyah Janelle in this video. One Million Studio, I think she does a lot of stuff with them. The thing about her dancing and her confidence is that this choreography could be done by anybody, but like nobody could do it like her. <laughs> her dancing makes me want to like be her, and I'm sure like any guy or any girl also wants to be with her. So she's like definitely doing a job of showing that she's that girl. You know what I'm saying? Swag. Swag for days. <laughs> it's got swag for days. Okay, Lisa is one of the few people that I honestly believe can do just about any style. Any kind of K-pop, the, there's just so many different styles in K-pop and I think she could stand up and honestly do um, some of these boy K-pop band things and look just as good and then go do black pink and be sexy. She is, she can be very, very sexy and very, very cute. She has perfect control of her body. She can take a move that would look awkward on anybody and make it look amazing. 
You watch her and all you wanna do is dance. She's just one of those people that you look at and she, she would make a seven-year-old little girl watching her want to take dance. She's one of those people who, she's just amazing. But she is. She's one of those people that would influence kids and make them actually want to dance. I think she makes everybody want to dance, to be honest. But her body control is just crazy for how long yeah. she is. It blows my <laughs> mind. She is. She's really skinny and long, but man, she controls. And her facials. She doesn't even have to like try. They come so natural to her that even if she's not really doing a lot of facials, she still looks like she's performing. And it's just not performing with her face, it's her, it's her whole body, it's crazy. So that's it for my video. What do you guys think? Is someone too high? Someone too low? Someone missing? Let me know down below in the comments. Until next time, remember to subscribe, and as always, stream so what?